Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing the Shadow Formulation Awards. I'm kind of hoping that I come up with a better name between now and when this actually goes live, but if not, hey, <laughs> it's pretty self-explanatory. I'm gonna be going over each different type of formula, whether it be a matte shadow, a metallic, a special shade, a cream, a liquid, and I'm gonna share with you my personal opinion on the best of the best of the products that I have tried. There's definitely brands and things that I have not tried, and there's one specific category that I feel like Really, I need to try some more. I definitely need to try some more, but I will talk about that once we get there. So in no particular order, I am gonna share with you my favorite, what I consider to be the best of the best. And I'm gonna start off with matte shadows. Who, in my opinion, has the best matte shadow? <laughs> now this has been something that I have been asked a million times and I would say that I definitely have like this little tier that I would put just so many brands under and I just oh this was really hard for me because Viseart amazing Sydney Grace amazing Pat McGrath amazing but I do understand that Pat is a little bit more on the you've got to like that formula it's a stiffer formula it's a denser it's very pigmented and I absolutely love it, but I do understand that some people are not a fan because they feel like it, you have to work with it. I love it though. And then we have Natasha Denona, if I did not just say that, but anywho, I love all of these brands of mattes, but there's one in particular that I feel like stands above them all and never have I ever been disappointed with one of their shadows and that has to go to Sydney Grace. This is, <laughs> I never took this out. It is a palette that I made up because I want the mini retro to be extended and this is what I came up with with Sydney Grace shadows. There is a video on this but these mattes are so creamy, so pigmented. You just absolutely cannot go wrong. Like that pink, look at this green. And that's how they show up on the eyes. It doesn't matter if it's a purple. It doesn't matter if it's a cool tone. It doesn't matter if it is a shade that you would think, oh, that's gonna be hard to formulate. Absolutely not. Sydney Grace does amazing, beautifully pigmented, perfect, in my humble opinion, matte shadows and not only do they have amazing matte shadows they have great shadows all the way around but if i had to pick just one brand this is the brand that i literally cannot think of a single matte shade that i have used that i'm like hmm this doesn't feel like sydney grace this is not up to par no these are amazing they have this creaminess to them but they are super pigmented super easy to blend out though so like while the pat mcgrath shadows you definitely need a stiffer brush and you know different things these are so pigmented and they don't require a lot of work to get them blended out. They're just absolute, utter perfection. And for anybody who does not know, I do need to put in my bias here that I have a palette with Sydney Gray, so there's that. But there's also the fact that I was the one that reached out to them <laughs> because they're so good. I was like, who am I gonna collaborate with? If I could, I wanted to collaborate with them. And I was like, please, please, please. <laughs> That's literally how that conversation went. All right, moving on. I gotta look in my little phone here to see what the next formula is. The next one is best celestial or sheer sparkle. When I thought about this, there's a few brands that came to my mind. Charlotte Tilbury, Wayne Goss, Tom Ford, and then Patrick Ta. I couldn't pick between two. So the two that I decided on are a tie for, <laughs> I just couldn't, I couldn't pick between. If there were more of Patrick Ta, then I would be able to tell you, you know, which one I prefer because Wayne Goss has three palettes out and Patrick only has the one. So let me get these and I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. This right here is the new Wayne Goss Pearl palette and this is his celestial shade. Here it is, I don't know how well you'll be able to catch it on camera, but it is so pretty and it catches the light, oh my gosh, amazing. And then this one right here, 
This blue, whew, this one just gives me everything. I love to wear this just all by itself all over my lid and it's just impeccable. Do you guys see that? And then I, I meant to pick up Imperial Topaz, but I didn't. I just wanna go ahead and show you Patrick Ta. So if he continues along this route, like I want so many different variations of this palette. He has toppers and just, there's such a nice variant in here. But the shades, this one right here, and then this one right here, this one is a little bit more on a metallic side, but these two, they still have a little blue on my finger. <laughs> <laughs> this one's a little bit more pink. This is peach. And then this shade right here, amazing. Absolutely amazing. And the reason I decided to go with both of those brands is because I feel like their sparkle is easier to get out. Whereas I still love, absolutely love Charlotte Tilbury and definitely love Tom Ford. Tom Ford can be hit or miss. I have to admit that. There are some palettes that I've been like, this is a little hard pan. Not all of them, but just a couple. And then with Charlotte Tilbury, I again love them, but you can, it's just it's a little bit harder to get out, but I still love them. I would say Charlotte would come in right after these two, but I couldn't put a difference. Like these brands, Wayne Goss and Patrick Ta, I could not decide between the two. So it was like, um, yeah, we've got a tie here. <laughs> Best cream in a pot. Initially, I wanted to give this to Chanel. I really, really wanted to give this to Chanel. There's only one reason I didn't. It's because not all of their formulas have been consistent. The one that I can say, they did a reformulation, I believe, and I have New Moon, and that one just, it's never dried up. I've had it for years and years and years, but then I have some others that have dried up, so I was like, eh. With the consistency being a little iffy, I didn't want to give it to them. So I decided that the best of the best when it comes to cream pot formulas is Charlotte Tilbury. And I have three right here somewhere. Oh, they're stacked. I couldn't see them. <laughs> so I'm going to show you these. I have not had a single one of these ever dry out, but they are a different formula. Charlotte is a little bit more like a whipped mousse and Tom Ford has one as well and it has those topper shades on the top and they have the singles. And then Chanel's, theirs, I have glitter all over my head. Chanel's are a little thicker. This right here is the shade, is this star something? Star gold. Trying, I can't get my finger in there because of <laughs> my nail. But these are moussey and they apply so beautifully to the eye. They have a sheen to them without it being overly intense. It's not going to make your eye look crepey or anything like that. I have the new Pillow Talk. Somebody asked if I accidentally had gotten um, Walk of Shame and I didn't. Because it's just darker than what I had anticipated. I'm going to show you. But it's definitely Pillow Talk. And here's that one. They blend like a dream. And then I have rose gold. I believe I have something rose gold from Tom Ford as well. Oh, that one's so pretty. And this one right here is rose gold. Those two together would be so pretty. But I just find that these work universally. They are flattering on everybody. And I like the fact that I'm not going to sit here and worry about them drying out or anything like that. They have a very long shelf life, even past what it says on the container. I just, I have not had one dry out on me. Not quite yet. Moving on, we're gonna go to metallics. This one again was hard. It was instantly between Pat McGrath, Sydney Grace, and Natasha Denona. Those are the ones that just go straight to my head. I'm just like, oh, which one? <laughs> I decided that it had to go to Natasha Denona. Now, mind you, she does change up her formula a lot. <laughs> but when I think about metallic formulas, I do constantly think of Natasha. And the reason is because she comes out with some of these just, I don't know, they're metallic, but they have this 
really wet look to them or a sparkle, which is something that I can't always find in Sydney Grace. It'll have this beautiful metallic, but it'll lack the little bit of sparkle. Like this right here is the mini retro and I just did the larger version of that. What I'm missing is the little bit of sparkle that is in this shade. And if Sydney Grace comes out with some sparkly metallics, it's done, like it's done. <laughs> but this right here, I don't know if you're gonna be able to truly see it on camera, but it's a metallic that has just the finest little glitters in there. Nothing that's gonna harm your eye or anything like that. But then this right here, this recently re-released and I was so happy because the blue in here, this, look at how intense this is. And again, in person, it has just the most beautiful sparkle to it. And then this one, I just find them to be super, super special and unique to her. There's definitely other brands that have a little bit of sparkle to them and not all of Natasha's have sparkle, but the fact that she has just this wide range of metallics, I think is really unique. I like that she has just all these kind of different formulations of metallics. I think it's wonderful. Whereas sometimes her mattes or even um, her cream to powder. I love the cream to powder formula. I really, really do. But they can be hit or miss. I know that there's definitely some cool tones, like in the Safari palette, that were not my friends when it came to mattes. That's why Sydney Grace definitely was like, you're the winner, because I cannot say a single bad thing about Sydney Grace's matte shades. I just can't. And I can't say anything bad about the metallics either. It's just that Natasha has just a little one up, just that little one up. Next up, best satin. Now this one I thought about again, Wayne Goss, especially the Imperial Topaz palette. Um, and then Surratt. There was another one, uh, Charlotte Tilbury did like a nudes and it had this satin type of formula, but I felt like it was not great. Surratt to me has the best, what I would consider to be a satin formula. This is like foundation for your eyes. It almost feels like it has a slight creaminess to them, almost like the Natasha Denona cream to powder formulas, but these are thin, they are pigmented, they do not accentuate anything bad on the eyes. There's something magical about the way that they look. They are extremely expensive, but I personally, the, the way they look on the eyes is just so special that I'm willing to pay for it. And I do not suggest that everybody run out and get it. I think you truly have to appreciate this type of shadow. But again, foundation for your eyes. That is, that's exactly what I think of when I think of Surratt shadows. They are stunning, they are thin, they are pigmented. It's almost like a moisturizer, you know, like the shadow has a moisturizer in it that makes your eyes just look hydrated and fresh. Like you came out of a sauna and your eyes are just glistening. That is what I think of. Not in a sparkly way, but in a skin hydrated, how did you do that type of way. Next up, best multi-chrome. Now this is the one that I feel like I have not tried enough to really be able to give a fair response. So I'm just going to go off of what I have seen. So I definitely want to try, okay, I don't think it is pronounced this way, Kaleido. Uh, I, the stained glass shadows, I want to buy a bundle. I was on there last night trying to see if I could figure out. I'm missing the bundles every single time. I need to get my hands on those. I have tried other ones. Um like the loose pigment ones. I don't remember the brand names or anything like that, but I have to say that the ones that I find to be the easiest to use, again, are from Sydney Grace. I do think that they need to expand their line because I want all the shades. <laughs> but I'm gonna show you really quickly these three down here. They also have cream ones, so they're in the little tube, but I'm specifically talking about either in a pigment form or in a shadow form for this category. So for me, in my collection and things that I have tried, it is Sydney Grace, but again, I need to try out more. I'm gonna drag these down my finger because you just have to, but to be able to see, I mean, you actually kind of don't. <laughs> but let me take this and see that 
and I like that these do not go chunky on the eyes. I've had some that I, I feel like I paid way too much for them and then they just go and it's like it makes my eye look crepey or something. Here's this one, I drag it. Oh, you would think that these are creams. If I was gonna tell you a really, really amazing liquid one that's not um, not Sydney Grace, Natasha Denona. I know I'm saying some of the same brands, but I mean, there's a reason. And I do have some more to talk about, so don't worry. Oh, this one. Let me just drag it. So yes, these are my favorite that I have tried in a shadow form like this. I just think that they are so pretty and they look wet, even though they're not wet, they look wet. The next category is glitter. <laughs> now I know a lot of you guys do not like glitter shadows, but I do. <laughs> and there's definitely some that are amazing and some that I cannot stand. I like a glitter that has adherence without even having to put down a glitter glue or anything like that. And bar none, Nabla. Nabla Cosmetics, this one right here is Oh, what palette are you? Miami Lights. I believe I have two different ones. These have a, a something to adhere them already in the shadow. Do you see how beautiful that is? I think that these are amazing. So anytime I'm thinking, okay, well, I want to put a glitter on my eyes. I don't want to fuss with it. I do not want to have to sit there and put down anything to make them adhere. It's these. Do you see this? I'm gonna put them on my hand so you can see that they adhere even to, look, do you see? Oh, that one's so pretty, oh my goodness. They're all so pretty, they're all, oh, just, mm. So they don't end up all over my face until I go to wash my face, that's always fun. <laughs> but these are so, so pretty. Pixie has some really good ones as well. I don't know if those were permanent or not, but Nabla, in my opinion, has the best pressed glitter that you don't have to fuss with. No fuss. The next category is innovation. So a shadow that is something different than what we have seen before. And my mind immediately went to the shadows that you can find in the Huda Beauty larger palettes, like these marbled shades. Some of these have been replicated by other brands, but I do not feel that they are the same. The reason why I love these so much is because you can put it all together and you're gonna get one shade. So let me show you, let me make sure my fingers are clean. I still got sparkle. I can take this and it's gonna come out to be like a bluish shade. Did you see, but it still has like a little bit of, it's like a slight marble. You're not really gonna be able to see it on my finger, but on the eye, it almost looks like a shift. But then you can go in just to this pinker side, to the deeper purple or the blue. And that's what I love to do with this. So let me get right on the outer corner. It's dark and then, okay, let me, I gotta concentrate my finger up at the top and it's gonna be a little bit more on the lighter side. You can see there's a little bit of that brown, but I will literally take a pencil brush or something like this. This is a Lunar Beauty LBE7 and you can get your brush right where you need to and use it and I just love that. And the formula is kind of, again, like foundation for your eyes. It's in between Surratt and the cream to powder formulation that Natasha Denona has, and I love them. This one down here is a little bit more on the metallic side, and then these, you're not gonna get as much of a difference with the lighter ones, but the darker ones like this, and it's not just this one. This is the Naughty palette, the Naughty Nude. <laughs> this one's my favorite, though, when it comes to the marble because of this shade right here. It's just neat, and I don't think that everybody truly realizes that you can take those and do so many different things with them. I will take that one shade that's my favorite. What is it called? It's called Hard. <laughs> so weird. Oh my goodness, it's called Hard. Oh my goodness, it really is it? Oh, yeah. I will take that, I will use the lighter shade all over as a one and done, and then I will take the deeper side, go right up against my lashes and underneath, put on mascara and call it a day. And it's it's really neat, I love that. So for me, Huda Beauty, best in 
innovation. And then we have uh, two more. So I am gonna go with best unique formula. Again, Pat McGrath came to mind. The cream to powders from Natasha Denona came to mind. And then I thought about toppers, but I put that in a category in of itself. Pat McGrath. I don't know how to describe I, these special shades other than them being special. I considered putting them in with metallics, but they're just not really, I mean, they are metallic. You can use them wet or dry. It's always these four down here, but they have glitter in them. Some of them are multi-chrome. Some of them are duochrome. Some of them are just like so glittery and amazing. And some of them, like this red right here is just like a gelée type of formula. Do you see that? It's thinner. It's not going to be crepey on the eyes. It's beautiful. But then you have, oh my gosh, this shade right here is one of my absolute favorites. This is Bronze Seduction, by the way. You see that? That is a duo chrome and it has glitter. And it's so, so pretty. And then right beside it, this one, oh, we touched the wrong one. This one has white gold and green to it. So these are just something in their own class. I can't think of anything outside of Pat McGrath that has these truly special shades. For the best unique formula, I have to give it to her. I really, really do. I think that people have tried or companies have tried to replicate this. And a few have come close, like Linda Hallberg, I think is the closest one that I have seen to this formula. Um, I feel like I'm forgetting one other, but it's still not the same as Pat McGrath. The last category is best liquid. I have to give this to Stila, but not now. Like this is so weird. Okay, Stila had like the what are these called? Hold on. Ah, the shimmer and glow as well as the glitter and glow. Now the glitter and glow, those were amazing. They can dry up, but if you take a little bit of Fix Plus and just spray it in there like once or twice for a couple days, it will come back to life. This right here is the shimmer and glow. And I love this formula. They are so pretty. I don't know what happened to them. I remember they came out with, um, what was it? Like the Mystery Mystique. Those were not great. And then it's just kind of like they've hit a dead end. I don't know why. I'm definitely rooting for them to come back because I love their formulations. They're so beautiful. By the way, these two shades are... Carefree is the pink one, and then the green is La Dolce. But if you're wanting, I wanted to show you these as well, a multi-chrome in the same kind of formula that really is smooth on the eyes and looks just beautiful. Natasha Denona does a really great job. This is Infra Nude, which is my absolute favorite of all. It's just so pretty. And it feels kind of cooling on the eyes. This is Dog Bang. Let me put it down here. But this is a little bit more like, it's still a liquid shadow, but I felt like they were, you know, specific to the multi-chromes because there's several Natasha Denona ones that I don't really love, but the multi-chrome ones I adore. And with Stila, if they could get back to doing, which you know, it might've been just something that was great in the moment, but I would still love to see them come out with more shades. Maybe don't try to create different, like the mystique or, you know, making anything gimmicky, just come out with some more really cool shades. I would really like to see them make a comeback because the glitter and glow and the shimmer and glow are just absolutely beautiful. I've tried several different liquids and I like a lot of them, but those, the OGs are really truly the best of the best. 
I just, hmm, it kind of stinks to see them go down the road that they're going down, but I'm rooting. Again, I am rooting for them. Anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know some of your favorites of each of the categories. And if you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.